What's up YouTube? Marvin Four here with another Great American Survival. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a DIY project making an anchor system using a retractable clothesline for your kayak. Stick with us, I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. For this project, you're going to need a carabiner, a retractable clothesline, some paracord, whatever you're going to need. If you look at this and it's a 50 or a 100, you're going to need 50 to 100 feet of paracord. You're going to need a knife or something to cut your cordage, and that's about it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is today I'm going to be using my Jackson Kusa kayak. I've had this kayak for quite a while. It's been my go-to kayak for probably seven, eight years. And honestly, it's not my only kayak, but it's my go-to kayak. Um, I've really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna pull my seat out of the way. Down here is where it was mounted and that's where we're gonna put it back. So I'm gonna bring the camera up close, show you some more. So this is where mine was mounted before, just like that. And then what it allowed it to do is flip up, except mine was mounted like this. You wanted it to where the slide slid back and it made it where the whole thing fed that way because this is gonna feed a rear facing chain, uh, anchor system like this. But I like this because it allowed me, when I hooked this little bungee, I could stretch this bungee around the front and hold it in place. But what it allowed it to do is fold down and it allowed it to lay down. It was underneath my seat or it was flat when I wasn't using it. And it made it where it was out of the way when I was stowing stuff and it was just a perfect design. Now I know a lot of people that don't wanna make theirs permanent, so you could always mount this directly to your fishing crate or a J crate or one of the other the um, different crates that there are for fishing. Any of those, you could easily mount it, but the system that you're gonna to use to change out this cordage and put in, replace this is exactly the same. We're gonna open this up. And the way, I, the way you see is see how this works? It's just like that. So the first thing you're gonna to have to do is pull all this cordage out. So it's like a magic trick. Now the biggest thing is once you cut this, you better be ready to work because once you cut this, if you let go of it, it's gone back in here and it's not gonna matter. So all you've gotta do is it does have this little cleat on top of this particular model. Like I said, this is a Sunbeam one, which has been a great one. So I just got another one. And then you're just gonna wrap that cordage around it. You can go a couple times if you want to, but you don't wanna to go too much because more of this is making it that much shorter of an anchor. Get my trusty Swiss Army knife out. We're just gonna cut it. Doesn't take much. And it's really interesting because it's like this plastic hollow core. I'm gonna bring it up and see what it is. It's like this plastic hollow core stuff. So it's hollow in the middle, but it's just nylon cordage. All right, so when we start off, what we do is we tie one half is a figure eight knot. Now we're gonna retrace that knot with this cordage the exact opposite way. And all we're gonna do is just like you say, see how we come in that way. We're gonna go over this one, back up through here, like so, exact opposite of what that one did. And what that's gonna allow us to do is it's retracing the other one and we're going in figure eight and we're doing it exactly the opposite that the other one did. And then we're gonna feed it back through here, like so. Now I like the figure eight knot. Uh, I have been, I've done a lot of rock climbing, so I like the figure eight knot. It's very small, very low profile, and it works great, especially when you're talking about using cordage. Just like that, you got a nice, you can use double overhand knots for all that matters, really. Just like that. It's a nice, small, tight little package. And it's starting to rain here. So luckily we're underneath the big tree. So hopefully we should be fine for a little while. Next, I'm gonna take my knife. Now that I got it tight, I got it all pulled tight and I'm gonna trim both these ends. Just like that. Boom, a little bit we had. And now all we're gonna do is we're gonna undo this cleat and we're gonna feed it all back in.
just like that. And it's actually pulling it back to the tire. And then we're gonna take it up here and reattach it. Now, I'm just gonna grab my pop rivet gun, my pop rivets. Now, if you're concerned about pop rivets, you can take your pop rivet and put it in here like so. Now the head's not gonna fit through there, but what you can do is you can put that O-ring that it comes with on the inside and it'll go right up against that hole and it'll keep it from taking in any bit of water. Just a little preventive measure. Not necessary if you, your rivets don't have them. It's not a big deal, but um, it helps. See, it fell the other way. It's not designed to go that way. So I'm gonna put this back through here like that, just like that. And now this is gonna go there. I'm gonna put that one in there, that one in there. And I love this setup. It has worked so well for me in the past. I've been nothing but happy with it. Um, I've never had a problem with water leaks or anything like that, but honestly, I fish in some pretty aggressive rivers and uh, I get a lot of water in my boat no matter what. So no matter what I do, it's gonna happen. I don't go out there planning on staying dry. That's just not my deal. Um, when I get on the kayak, unless it's like winter time, I'm pretty much planning on going swimming at some point, whether it's for fun or in case it happens, not by choice. There we go. Now those are both down in there. Now we're just gonna take our pop rivet gun, clamp that down in there, put that over there, squeeze it a couple times, feel it pull, until it pops, hence the name. That's the shaft out of it. Now we'll do the other one. Come in this way. Just gonna do that last, give that last couple squeezes. There we go. And we are on. Like I said, you can use this just to keep it from going in. Mine's going through a trolley, and that's not really an issue for me. And just like that, we've got our retractable anchor trolley. Now, the way I use mine is mine goes through my little cleats, but when I pull it out, when I want to use it, when I'm fishing, I will just leap it, loop it through this little cleat here just to tie it off, and it doesn't take much. And like I said, I have this little pull ring. I have it for... Once I'm in my boat, I hook it like this, or like this, honestly. And what that does is it just keeps it up so it doesn't fall down. And that's just a piece of bungee, doesn't really matter. I have a little key, uh, key ring on there just to make it easier for me to grab. And just like that, we're done with another project, guys. All these projects make going out on your kayak, whether it's fishing or just recreational use, they can all make your day on the water that much better. A kayak with an anchor allows you to fish in a totally different aspect of fishing because it allows you to control your flow or completely stop it. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it the old thumbs up and comment down below. Tell me if you're using an anchor trolley or any type of anchor on your kayak, what do you use? I know people that have used kettlebells and the old plastic cheap dumbbells that you find at Goodwill. Uh, there's, there's a lot you can use. I've seen some people use some pretty cool stuff. Like I said, I like to use the drag chain for my rear of my boat, and I do use um, my drag chain in my anchor trolley on the sides of my boat. So make sure you comment down below. Guys, and if you're new to our channel and you'd like to see some more of these uh, wonderful DIY projects, subscribe. Ring the notification bell and get alerted every time we post a new video. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We couldn't do this without you. Hope you guys have a great week. Remember to get out there. Enjoy yourself, enjoy nature, be prepared, and stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.